But today, Congresswoman Maxine Waters turns 80 years young. The California liberal revealing what she wants for her birthday more than anything else. I'll stop now. My biggest birthday wish would be that we're able to get a leader of this country who represents us, who has the respect of all of our allies all over the world, someone who has an appreciation for the Constitution, someone that does not lie. Well, Fox News contributor Tommy Lahren joins us right now from out in the West Coast. Tommy, I think she's talking about Donald Trump. And as we have heard in the last year, she doesn't like him. Well, I was hoping she was talking about herself because all the things she described really do apply to crazy Maxine Waters, especially a lack of appreciation for the Constitution. But listen, if and when Trump derangement syndrome is put in the dictionary, there will be a photo of Maxine Waters next to that definition. She is Trump derangement syndrome. She is walking, talking Trump derangement syndrome. But the reason she has to continue to talk about the removal of President Trump is because she has, has actually no ideas, agenda items, or plans for the country, for her constituents, for California. She simply has to be anti-Trump because that is her stick and she has nothing else to say. Yeah, but somebody in her constituency must think it's working because she keeps it up. Well, welcome to California. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of things we need to fix in the state, and I'm hoping that when we have elections roll around, we can start to fix those things little by little. It's going to be an uphill battle, as I know from living in California. But I think that the more that she and others talk about impeaching Donald Trump, removing Donald Trump, just being overall anti-Trump, I think they're going to start to lose support. Because even those who don't like President Trump still want to hear policy items and agenda items yeah. to better this country, better the district. District. And if she's just simply anti-Trump, I don't know if that's going to hold her for very much longer. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. Do you think that's going to work? It's just resist, resist, resist. Don't people want to hear about policy? I believe that they do. I mean, of course, there are some areas in California where the resist message is very popular. I see it on a daily basis. But like I've told you guys so many times, just from living in California for about a year now, I can see things starting to change. I can see individuals tired of the homelessness, tired of the poverty, tired of illegal immigration. And I think that we're going to have to put more pressure on our elected officials to be more than just anti-Trump, starting with crazy Maxine Waters. Right. Uh, number one, I think people are also tired of the high taxes, I imagine. Imagine. Uh, let's talk about women, millennial women. They have a definite feeling uh, about who they are. And according to a recent poll, uh, the uh, most Democrat females of the next generation, 63 percent, say they are feminists, a uh, total of 46 percent overall when you factor in independents and Republicans. Uh, how do you explain that? Well, this isn't surprising to me because I, I know many millennial women who, though they believe in female empowerment and women's rights, they don't consider themselves feminists anymore because truth is, modern day feminists have hijacked the term and they've changed it into something that the original feminists would be horrified by. They'd be rolling in their graves if they saw what feminists have done with the movement. It's become less about equal treatment and equal rights and more about special treatment. It's become about man bashing and demanding free things and marching in the streets, getting attention with hats and being anti-Trump, it's not really about lifting up women, empowering women, because if they were to do that, they would have to empower women who are conservative women. And as we've seen, especially in the last six months, they've done everything but that. The feminists have not come out to support people like Sarah Huckabee Sanders, like Kirsten Nielsen, like the rest of the women in the Trump administration who have ascended to very high positions under this president. All they've done is demean these women. So that's why I think we're seeing a lot of millennial women say, you know what, feminism isn't for me anymore. Well, there you go. That's from a brand new uh, CBS News Refinery 29 poll. All right, Tommy Laren, thank you very much for joining us. As we heard, you're out in California. Good luck.